Not a video request. This is an original. Look, guys, okay. It, somebody sent me this website, globalbankingtraining.com. You could take a look at it, and this is not to pick on this company, but it, it is a testament to how much of an education bubble is out there. All right, and, and it, I have never seen anything dis, this desperate, not on their part, they're smart. They're capitalizing, they're, they're selling gold panning equipment to a gold rush is what they're doing. But this is like negative interest rates. This just shows you how fucked up and out of whack the labor market and our education system is. In the Western world, this is, a, I think, a British outfit, whatever. They're international, they're international. All right. First internship I had was at Bramer Banks. And they could come fucking sue me if they want because it's all true. And they said, you know, financial internship. Oh, okay, cool, bang it. So I went in and you know what they had me do? I had stupid fucking schmuck. I wore a suit. You know, I drove, I was working full time, going to school full time, and I was getting, well, I'm gonna get, you know, I think I was a freshman even, you know, I was very serious. So I show up, and all they had me to say, well, there's been a change in plan, which there always is a change in plans with internships. Like, we don't have your job ready now, so what we're gonna have you do is file. And they literally just had me fucking file, all right? U.S. Bank, they did it a little bit differently. They said, we don't have anything but for you to file. It's like, fuck, all right, I'll go file. I didn't get paid, but I did end up quitting the Bramer Bank. I said, hey, you guys can have real work. They're like, well, we, we're still working on this. This dumb HR broad didn't fucking know jack. I, I guarantee you some corporate schmuck said, fine, hire some kids that are desperate to come work and put this on the resume. And this is over 20 years ago. Was it 20 years ago? 40, 20, yes, 21 years ago I did this. <clears throat> and things have only gotten worse, especially with the financial crisis that you millennials voted in yourself. Uh, and this education bubble because now the, the, the labor market is flooded with you graduates and you guys are just desperate to vindicate and validate the past four to five years and all that fucking money you spent getting a job. Now, employers know this. Employers are elitists. They're cocksuckers. They're, they're scum. This is why I'm self-employed. And they have no moral qualms or problems about lying to you about internships and employment opportunities. And I thought it was getting, I thought it was bad that they were dishonest. I at least got paid, okay? But I thought it was bad that they were dishonest and lied to me about interning. So after a while, I stopped doing that. <clears throat> and, I, and I gave the advice. The second they lie, they do the bait and switch on you, you tell them to fuck off and you leave. You do not intern when you're not getting experience. That's the truth, right? That you do not intern if you're not getting experience. Things then got bad about five, ten years ago when I found out there's this thing called unpaid internships. I'm like, holy fuck, if, if you weren't desperate before, how desperate are you now that you're willing to be a slave, a fucking slave, to work for free? You get experience to put on my resume, see? I have experience. So I said, no, don't fucking do that. I even think that was a video request. Now! My agent in the field, our Russian agent in the field, he sends me this globalbankingtraining.com and uh, I'll, I'll put it here in, in, the, uh, in the... Go ahead and look at this. <laughs> not only are you not paid, not only, you know, you'll get the work experience and all that, you have to pay now to have an internship. People are so desperate, especially to get into investment banking, they will pay to go work. This is beyond slavery. This is, this is being paid to be a slave. I, there's no word for it in the English language. It's, it's as odd as negative interest rates. People are paying to go and be a slave for an investment bank. Now this happened when I interviewed in, in the I had two interviews with the bulge bracket. These are the elite investment banking firm. And it's the biggest fucking lie. It's the biggest fucking racket. They say, well, we can't afford to fly you out here. Bull fucking ship. It's a test. It's a fucking hurdle. It's to see if you're gonna jump through the hoops. And for the most part, trust you, me, people, I desperately did want to be an analyst when I was, you know, growing up when I was in college. But now that you look at it, you know what you do in investment banking as quote an analyst? 
You're their fucking whore. You work 100 to 120 hours a week. You do all the shit work that they don't want you to do. And these investment banking assholes, well, they're brilliant in this capacity. They've made it so that you desperately want to work for them for the prestige. I work at Goldman Sachs. When every one of these motherfuckers are so bad at finance, they needed to get bailed out. They didn't even predict the housing bubble. They didn't predict the housing bubble. They didn't predict the dot-com bubble. These are not, but they, it's marketing what they've done. They've, they've brilliantly positioned themselves as a brand that you desperately want to go work for Wall Street. And year and time and time again, you guys fall for it. So much so, it's so bad as the that now a company has arisen that sells you, sells you, gets people to fork over, what is it, 5,500 5, pounds. That's like eight grand. Eight for, for the elite investment banking experience. <laughs> eight fucking grand to have the honor to go work for an investment bank for free. Bubble, anybody? Huh? Huh? Look, guys, for those of you that want to work in investment banking, you don't want to, okay? You really don't want to. You're going to be their whore. You're going to be their go-getter. You're going to be their gopher doing all this shit work that they don't want to do. And then you become jaded and you get all trapped up and you think, I'm an investment, I'm an investment. Then you make that first year cut or whatever. That's assuming people haven't killed themselves along the way, which has happened. People have killed themselves. <laughs> just recently this guy, because the pressure is so much. And they just treat you, and they, they just, they know it. And they make it that you think you've got to go and impress it. You got it's all competition. And then you get to the, and all it is, it's just hobnobbing and ass kissing and or setting up deals, setting up deals, setting up deals. And then you get to be one of those people. But you were so jaded through this torturous experience, you want to force it on other people. It's like hazing at fraternities. Well, I had a fucking whatever hazing. They had to uh, put a used condom in my face. Well, I, I can I get to put the used condom in the face of these guys too. It's not worth it. Get to pay half your fucking money in New York taxes or London to Oh, fuck that bullshit. So look, guys, have some self-respect, okay? Not only do you not internship when, or not only do you not intern when they lie about the job duties and the experience, and not only do you sure as hell not internship for free, you don't intern for free and go to an unpaid internship, you quadruple double dog dare fucking don't go and pay to intern. All right? You just don't. If you want, I will have you come and pay to do my work. I, You can pay me $8,000 for my elite Aaron Clary online media internship program where we will train you how to wash the car and change the oil and do all the piddly house shit and stack some wood and repair the chainsaw. I will let you come here and pay me $8,000 to do all the shit I don't want to. You can pay me to do to have that honor, that prestige of working at Clary's Online Media Empire. <laughs> anyway, best of luck to you guys. Enjoy that fucking decline. Toodles.